Hello everyone, welcome to your Mystic Affirmation for Thursday, January 9th, 2019. Welcome everyone who has uh, been following me and going through these wonderful affirmations. Welcome to all who have just joined and understand that this is not a horoscope reading. This is more about the affirmation of the energy of the day. We are all going through different things. We have different goals in life. And life is very difficult sometimes. It can take the wind right out of your sails. So this is a law of attraction reading. We're using tarot and other oracle cards. If you'd like your horoscope reading, please click the eyeball in the corner here. And you'll be able to view all the different readings I have to offer. I would uh, recommend that you just watch this the first time. It's a very short reading. And uh, you might actually like it. So, with that being said, we'll move forward. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. And we receive them in the love and light which they are intended. Thank you so much, Divine, for your presence here. Your information and energy are always welcome and very appreciated. Thank you for the blessing of this wonderful information. So, normally I do three cards, but as you can see, more than three fell. So, we're going to see what we have here. Sometimes Divine has a bigger message. And it, it makes a way, right? I'm going to move the cards over. This happened uh, yesterday as well. Can't, I think it happened in my other reading, my, uh, but I can't remember, so I believe it did. No, it might have been this one because I feel like it was these cards. Everything runs together on me, so you all know if you were watching. <laughs> So we have the Justice card. This is a beautiful energy of the Justice card, which is talking about the right decision being made and balance being attained. So, uh, first of all, this is the Libra Major Arcana. I mean, you can understand why. And it's talking about um, keeping yourself in an objective position, not letting um, your typical reaction overwhelm the ability to remain uh, open okay and keeping keeping yourself in a place of allowing all things to present themselves as they will sometimes we have an opinion about something before we ever start and uh, it turns out that it wasn't it, it doesn't turn out that way I do that sometimes when I, I have a reading and I have a certain feeling when if, especially if they tell me ahead of time what they're after um, but then when the reading comes out it, it really does. I'm always in a place of being afraid that I'm not going to live up to what they're asking because sometimes it's big stuff and I, and I just can't see how in the world the tarot would tell me and it always does. So that's where I have to be in that place of balance and just let it happen. So communication is the top card. I'm normally not reading the top card, but I figured I kind of think if, if I'm doing this one, I might as well do this one too. So communication I effectively communicate and clarify my needs in order to achieve my goals. Communication is everything. This is everything. Your success or failure can depend on lack of communication or the ability to communicate in a, in a way that people can understand you. Sometimes you think you're getting a point across and um, you can be convoluting the message just by the way you're saying it universe the universe will show me the right path to take to reach my goal that is our our affirmation that with communication now one of the things you have to learn how to do is receive the communication from the universe right so it can also be the way we listen the, the words that we hear maybe we don't we've got a certain uh, thought about what that word means or we take a an, we get a, an offended and, and a defensive position against it when it's really just trying to get your attention and tell you something. So please examine something. If you feel um, that gets you feeling, look at why. Maybe it's you. Compromise. That's very important. In the communication process, there is always something that gets told that uh, may not line up 
completely. And to in order for success, we have to be in the balance. So sometimes we have to compromise in a good way, okay? Uh, because by giving, you get. So if you compromise, you can help further your cause by allowing other people's opinions or whoever it is you're trying to work this out with to, uh, to have their say so that you can understand where they're coming from and how to get around whatever the, um, the block is, right? Emergence. The frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place. Sometimes we have to just stand back without any, that's what I do when I read cards. This is how I approach this. I don't have any, when I sit down to do this, this reading or any of the other readings you see, I have to be in a place of complete blank slate. And that's what I do. And I kind of, that's why you always hear me a gasp when I see the cards or you'll hear my big reaction because I am in a place of receiving that same wonderment as I am observing what's unfolding before me. It's still awestruck to me. I still feel like it's a very, very ominous, magical experience every time I read. So the emergence of allowing it to unfold itself when the cards are laid out is part of my my thrill as a reader. So that's that's the thrill of life. That is the thrill of allowing the universe to work itself into its own beautiful. I'll say here's a really good one. I said it this morning for something completely different, but this is perfect. So if any of you paint, you understand that the whole object, even if you have an idea what you want to paint, is to get the paint on the canvas, right? And and sometimes. What you thought you started out to paint, and this happens really kind of 80% of the time, it's not what, the com what comes out. What comes out is what it's, its own thing. It's like a living thing. So whatever you are intending to do, as you put the paint on the canvas, it emerges into what it wants to develop into as you go. So that's a really good uh, symbol for emergence or an a, um, uh, anecdote for emergence. All my relationships are harmonious. Now, the other card we had earlier was communication, and uh, this plays hand in hand. When we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer always. So striving for harmonious relationships, and that's with all people, not just a personal, you know, not like a love relationship. That is all, all my relationships are harmonious. When you, when you strive for harmony within yourself, then it's easier to find it in other people. I love life. It is my birthright to live fully and freely. I give to life exactly what I want life to give to me. I am glad to be alive. I love life. So this is being in a very, very positive acknowledgement that this is a gift. Life is a gift. We have to be in a place of, of receiving and claiming that we are in a place of a divine, wonderful opportunity here and, and, and cherish it. Now, here we go. We have the King of Pentacles. This is either making a commitment. Uh, it can be a financial commitment. It can be going all in on something. This means kind of setting your mind or setting setting the focus. Um, if it is a commitment, it's from you, from you, by you, or for you. And the judgment card, which is looking at where you came from and seeing the past from where you are now. Sometimes that is the moment you need to reflect on, you know, five years ago, you know, who would have thought you would be here? How, you know, how much you've grown since that? How many things have changed since then? What all had to come and transpire and work itself out? That's when you get to see the magnificence of the universe, really. When you see how everything formulated. And that's where you know when you've seen it happen before, 
you know that's true now. So if you're in a place that is not where you want to be, this is only temporary, is your thought. We have the Seven of Cups, which you all hear me call the dump truck load of blessings. So this means that it's sort of an avalanche of fortune and good things. This is the universe providing in such a way that it's overwhelming. This is, this is the blessings of overflow and abundance of all things. So that's not a bad thing. It just sometimes feels very uh, like it's all happening at once. Okay. Like you can't bail the boat fast enough. So here's the hermit. And this is the Virgo Major Arcana energy, which is talking about, and that's also a Virgo energy here, but the pinnacles mean Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So this is Capricorn season. We have the hermit, which means having introspection. So sometimes we have to look within our inner mirror and allow ourselves to truly see who we are, what we want to be, and how we want to get there. Um, this is where we face our truth. Not the, not the part where we see our outer body. It is our inner truth. How are we, what is our self-talk? How are we going, are we living up to our, whatever our goal is set? And there we are. Now we're in a place of really looking at what we're developing. So the moon card is the manifestation of all of your focus. Now, this is that energy of divine light. We have the two pillars to help balance and center the focus. This is the octah octahedron. There we go. The octahedron is the double-ended diamond shape that is two pyramids joined at the base. And it gives you the energy of creation. So as above, so below. The focus in on this, on this card is talking about getting yourself in a place of manifestation and visualization and allowing divine to help you do that. So being in a place of expectation and sending the energy that you need to bring what you want to you. So this is the kind of the pivot point of focus here. We're going to allow it to unfold and unveil itself. So the moon is the manifestation of what you've been concentrating your energy towards. So this is the opening of that. With the justice card being balanced and in a place of making good decisions, the right decision being made or the right choice being made. Many blessings to you all. Thank you so much for watching and I send you all love and light. I'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste.